Hello, my name is Lei Zhu. I'm a professor in the Department of Macromolecular Science and Engineering Department at Case Western Reserve University. In this perspective, we discuss our research on high dielectric constant and low loss polymer dielectrics. This research is motivated by a number of new applications. For example, high dielectric constant elastomers will find application in artificial muscles or energy harvesting. And high dielectric constant and high temperature and the low loss plastic films will be used in film, di uh, film capacitors. These capacitors will find applications in electric vehicles. In addition, we can also have high dielectric constant polymers uh, to be used for solid state cooling uh, using the electrocaloric effect. Motivated by these applications, we actually go down to the fundamental physics of electrostatics. Totally, there are five types of polarization. In the optical range, electronic polarization happens. In the infrared range, atomic or vibrational polarization happens. Both polarizations will have a very low loss in the power and the radio frequencies. When we go down the frequency, we will have normal dipolar polymers. The orientational polarization happens right in the power and the radio frequencies. Below this, we will have ionic and interfacial polarizations. In this perspective, we introduce electronic polarization and atomic polarization will be very difficult to be further enhanced without decreasing the band gap of the material or losing the insulation property. Ionic polarization and interfacial polarization also are very slow in discharge. Therefore, dipolar orientational polarization is a possibility to achieve high dielectric constant and the low loss polymer dielectrics. Actually, we learned a lesson in liquid water. For pure water at room temperature, their dielectric constant is as high as 80 and their dielectric relaxation is at 20 gigahertz. Below 20 gigahertz, there's very low loss for liquid water. So our goal in this research is to achieve water-like polymer that will exhibit dielectric constant as high as 80 to 100, but the relaxation peak shifted into the gigahertz range. Through years of the research, actually, we have discovered a pathway between linear dielectrics and ferroelectrics. For linear dielectrics, there's no permanent dipoles. Therefore, the electroactive response is linear. For ferroelectric polymers, there are large domains. Each domain contains thousands of dipoles. Therefore, each dipole cannot be individually rotated, but only the domains. Therefore, we will have large hysteresis. Actually, in between linear dielectrics and ferroelectrics, we can tailor the concentration of dipoles and arrangement of the dipoles. Therefore, we will be able to achieve dipolar glass polymers, ferroelectric polymers, and the relaxer ferroelectric polymers with nano-sized domains. In this perspective article, we introduce all these new approaches in detail. Thank you for your attention.